please help me welcome to the stage Chris Thomas. Yay, yay. Shout out to my people from North. Holla. I just want to thank y'all for coming out tonight. We really appreciate y'all for taking out your time. So give yourself a round of applause. It's not easy. Do we have any midgets in the building? No, seriously, do we have any midgets in the building? You know, midgets hate being called midgets. Like, go figure. Like, I didn't know calling a midget a midget was disrespectful. Like, I got a cousin that's a midget. You know, you know I'm talking about pop, you know? And he makes sure you call him by the correct scientific term, dwarf. Like, you wanna be Santa's little helper? Like, come on, for real. Like, like he's Muslim. I never know Santa's dwarves to be Muslim, right? Never, never. Then I hate going places with him because he got like this messed up walk, you know? Like, he got these thick knees, his booty high, you know, and his arms shorter than everything else. And on top of that, he a thief. Imagine him walking through Times Square picking your pockets. You gotta constantly check your pockets like, hold on. Could have swore I had some change. You got my change? Then I got a problem that he got a problem that people look at him sideways. Like his head ain't a big target, you know? You know, you see a midget walking in the street, you look away because you don't want to look, but you can't help but look, and you can't help but stare. Are you a little kid, a grown person? This shit is amazing. Then I sent him to the store. He come back with the change, and he came up short. <laughs> so I wanted my fucking change, so I figured I'd get on my knees and level with him. And I figured I could take him, because in the gym, I lift 180. In the gym, he lift eight. Come to find out, he was only tightening up the super fucking strength he already had. Like, why didn't nobody tell me that midgets are super strong? You know? Like he whooped my ass. He fucked me up. Could you imagine? He ain't just whooped my ass, he whooped my ass Steven Seagal style. You ever seen the Steven Seagal movie? Who's seen the Steven Seagal movie? Raise your hand. Yes, Steven Seagal will break a bone. Yes, he will. He will break it with professionalism. The whole time his ponytail never move. <laughs> never. He will make love to that bone breaker. He don't care. He will treat your body like it's a Rubik's Cube with that same face. <laughs> click, click, click. Don't ask me what that sound is. I just feel like this is what people do when they break bones. I don't fucking know. <laughs> the whole time his ponytail never moved. <laughs> it looked like a safety pin to the back of his neck, you know? I've never seen Steven, yo, he makes love to the bone breaker, doesn't he? looks you in your eye, he be like, grab your hand, he be like. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's a hell of a bone breaker. He breaks it the other way, back way. Listen, I'm, this is what I'm saying. Just as long as when you see a midget, I mean dwarf, address him correctly, okay? Because I learned my lesson. After that, I figured I need some TLC, so I kick it with this girl I've been kicking it with for a while. You know, I hadn't got the drawers yet, you know? And guys, you know, when you first meet a girl, you'll do just about anything to get the drawers, won't you? Yes, you will, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, we will. So she called me hysterical, she was like. I'm like, baby, what's wrong? She like, my brother giving me issues. Before she could hang up with the phone, I was at the front door. <laughs> Halfway in the door, I see this 6'11", 380 pound big nigga, and I was like, oh shit. I should second guess this. So I looked at him and looked at her like, is it worth it? I looked at him, then looked at her like, this shit ain't worth it. <laughs> Before I could punk out, he walked up on me and was like, see, I always be doing stuff. <laughs> She use my makeup, I can't use her makeup. She wear my pocketbooks, I can't use her pocketbooks. 
So I sprung into action. I was like, oh shit, jackpot. <laughs> so I went to the 6'11, 380 pound big nigga. I was like, come here, big bro. Let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Come here. I whispered in his ear. I was like, listen, you take this Victoria's Secret gift card I got in my back pocket. <laughs> and you be on your way. Yes, I carried those around in case of emergencies like that. I took care of him, took care of her, got what I want. You know, I was happy. I'm leaving the house. I look down the hallway, I see this big 6'11", 380 pound nigga frolicking down the hallway in red lingerie. God damn it, that figure don't keep no secret. That shit was flopping everywhere. You know, I was watching Nat Geo the other day. And you know the only other mammal besides humans that fuck for pleasure is dolphins. Did you know that? Did you know that? I couldn't wrap my head around. All I could think about is, God damn it, dolphins be fucking. <laughs> That's crazy. Dolphins be fucking. Could you imagine him spitting game in the ocean? Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, dolphin lady. See, see him over there? He swim 90 miles per hour. Me? Me? I swim 120 miles per hour. Come hide at a real player. Then imagine when he get in it. What does he say? Damn, this is wet. <laughs> Could you imagine him having a conversation with his boys, you know, in the barbershop? Yeah, man, so I tried to, you know, get her to, you know, give me some top, do her blowhole, and, you know, she was like, I don't really want to do it. Could you imagine, like, they would do, they would do porn, and it wouldn't be Booty Talk 64, it would be Fin Talk 64. You know, could you imagine? Could you imagine a dolphin having problems about having sex? Like, what did, what did they do? What did, what, do they have genitals? I didn't know dolphins fuck. <laughs> dolphins be fucking. <laughs> Shit. My name is Christopher Thomas. I'm out here, y'all. <laughs> dolphins be fucking.